No grizzly old, tired Pikachu. Last day on the job. No. No, but a grizzly Pikachu is George, hard to imagine. No Pikachu dropping condoms for his Magnum the, Dong on the floor. That's also electrified. Yeah, electrified Magnum Dong. There you go. Bam. Seconds in. Seconds in. Second, yeah. Seconds in, we got it. Seconds in, got in Magnum Dong. Yeah, Electrified Magnum Dong. Yeah, because I mean, there's all the other affinities: poison, mm-hmm. water, mm-hmm. fire, mm-hmm. and electric dong. Mm-hmm. And you know, it makes sense for Pikachu. Um, I am super fucking hyped for this movie. I didn't think I it's, would be. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I see people going, "This is awful." I'm super hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's it looks something about it. It looks terrible in all the right ways, but it also looks self-aware. So I feel like some of the jokes might land because it knows how ridiculous the entire it's, thing is. It's like the dumbness of things like Dragon Ball Evolution, but that took itself seriously, like it was trying to be a serious thing. But like this leans in to mm-hmm. like, how dumb is this that all of these major companies decided, let's make this. Like the Lego movie almost. Yeah. It's almost like one of those things where it's like, it, or I mean... So or Lego I, Batman, I think, more is probably more appropriate. Perhaps. Um, you didn't see that, though, did no. you? No. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> Just believe me. And I'm thinking about, uh, we're, we've been seeing all these movies of like things like Clue and... Uh, battleship and whatnot where you're just like classics why is battleship well it's more just like why is this a movie now why, why noise where, where, where's mousetrap right so but point being like it's almost one of those things where if the movie knows it's a weird premise it has to kind of go hey yeah. i know and but, i'm still gonna try to sell but, you on this but also let's get the acting chops of ken watanabe in there to sure. legitimize it sure. it's kind of whatever anyway all I know is that, like, hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds. Noah can understand me, Ryan Reynolds. And then a girl looks at him, and she's like, Pika, Pika. I'm like, ah, yeah, that's such the expected joke, but it was so good. And then live action, like, Pokemon uh, gags. It better just be Gen 1. Get all that other garbage. Oh, wait, Greninja's in there. I will say that they're actually, <laughs> yes, he is, exactly. Uh, it. Dude, you come on. There's favorites. Of that, course, of Favorites course. succeed beyond Gen 1. But the, the, the smart thing is that they managed to basically make the Pokemon live-action movie mm. without making it feel like they're doing that. They're kind of making this weird side new story thing, right? Like a, a different dimension, like Earth, Detective, like a different Earth. Well, it's like Detective Pikachu. It's this weird whatever, That's already right? already strange but in as, Pokemon. As opposed to the Pokemon live-action movie starring yeah. live-action Ash. And here comes live-action Team Rocket. Plus... You can't really complain because there's been how many Pokemon movies already? Yeah. That are all anime and just exactly what you would probably want. But but the idea of there being the special American big production yeah. live action one is like, it's like all, Godzilla 2014. Like no one really enjoys it. Everyone is either going to go like that was fine or that was awful. Look at how they put these dumb wigs on, right? Dude, dude, it's about hope. Sure. So and America like needs hope so hopefully this movie can save a nation perhaps but um i my brain my brain a lot of on the shoulders of detective pikachu my brain thinks that like you don't you don't take the responsibilities of like a live action franchise if you feel like a side story from the get-go but it is a side story. Exactly. So, but it's still the first real American yeah, live action Pokemon movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you get to be less than you are by pretending you're something you're not. I hope there's a couple of cameos of celebrities that are just super into Pokemon and you didn't know they were. But they're like, oh, th- I got to get in on that. Yeah. Like, you know how a lot of actors were in uh, Force Awakens, but mm-hmm. you didn't know it was them? Like Simon Pegg mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Daniel Craig. Like, I just want... Brienne of Tarf. I just want Brienne of Tarf or I want Daniel Day-Lewis being just like, I- my last role. I got to get in there. Even as a cameo, I don't care. That'd be great. I, I'm wondering if um, Sonic's movie is going to be similar, where are you going to make the mistake of saying Sonic Hedgehog, the movie, America, 
Or are you going to like oh, as far make as it? I know it's just called Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if it has another title. Yeah, I just it's just I think I, I know what you mean though. Expectations get tempered, you yeah. know. When you throw a subtitle in there and go, "This is some wacky extra world that doesn't even matter, but it happens to be love action." Fuck it. But what if about, you like this, then maybe more. Who knows? No, but, no big commitment. But that's the nice thing about Sonic Boom is already established wackiness and like pocket dimensions mm -hmm. of Sonic being really self-aware. Mm -hmm. So if they start off that movie with a Sonic boom or any other type of Sonic in an animated world and he just busts through or Eggman shoots some dimensional bullshit, mm -hmm. how do you feel about that to handle it? Like, I go into the real world. It's pretty much like the plot of all bad direct adaptations are that, is that. You ever seen He-Man? No. That's what that is. Real, real, just working Joes. There's a girl is involved, and she he man gets transported to the real world, so you don't get no gray skull. Motherfucker, like it's we amazing. I mean, but here's the thing, right? What's right alongside thing? this news is the fucking matching uh Monster Hunter live action screenshots from which also looks amazing. Milia's fucking tw uh, 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 Instagram. Wait, that's. Oh, I thought that was a Call of Duty thing. Jovovich is Twitter. It's Twitter. God damn it. Instagram. No, it's a bunch of fucking military fatigues. That's, that's, that's what I was going it's, for. It's insane. I can't right? wait. Capcom doesn't give, give you no shitty. Nothing. You make us money, do whatever you want with the license. We don't care. And clearly they've, they've exactly, well, they've made money. They made money on Street Fighter. Remember, they made money on fucking Resident Evil. Why would they care? It was either. Don't I, fuck with the formula. It, it works. It was either Seth Kellyan or somebody that Caring told me is bad. That was like, haha, that was a bad decision. We make a million dollars every day. Yes, exactly. Based exactly. on syndication, whatever sales. Like those, we are laughing to the bank forever. Shut up. We see the fucking first set, set shots of like Monster Hunter's film and we see like Military fatigues and fucking like APCs and ta and, and and armored fucking I jeeps. I think Lythera said it best. He was like, it just it looks like a Transformers. Film. Modern military, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so like the description that people are saying is they're saying there's a possibility that what happens is they go the Rathalos. No. no, 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 no. We confirmed in the earliest talks about this yeah. that monsters attack our world. And how can, there's a dimension and 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 the like can the like modern military can they win against that right so we're gonna have a little bit of um uh, gate that anime where um, you have uh the the Japanese military going in to fight a bunch of orcs and monsters and stuff yeah, yeah, right yeah. um so but here the description of this is basically kind of implying that like oh they're fighting as a military but that's super ineffective and that's only the beginning and later on uh Milia aka what was her name Oh she has a name Yeah 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 hold on Is it like a stupid movie name It's totally a movie name Oh fuck fuck she fuck She was just always called Alice in the Resident Evil movies and it was just not the coolest name uh, like, her, Alice is fine but her character Alpha Alpha team between takes. No, 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 no. Uh, Here we go. Captain Natalie Artemis. Artemis. Yes. Yeah, that's not bad. Captain actually. Natalie Artemis and her military will eventually, right, find that way more effective is using the other, the, the old school weapons. Yeah, like using like swords. And I assume it's basically like, monsters. oh, our guns don't work. We have to craft things out of the monster's hides because the only thing weak to the okay, monsters I've is other monsters. Around. This sounds awesome. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? They're like, you might have something there where you're like, the reason why your dumb, stupid guns don't work is because yeah. Rathalos hide is needed to defeat the Kirin. Because fucking armor-piercing bullets can't pierce a Rathalos, so, you know, makes sense um and and so uh the, the in theory then she's got and she's got a slinger right yeah, here yeah, yeah. and so in theory it's like okay so they go back to uh, like swords and 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 uh, i guess somehow that evolves into fucking uh uh transforming axe blade charge blade things yeah, yeah. because there's still a level of crazy tech and there's guns and shit all the while, Paul W.S. Anderson is in his chair masturbating away to his wife playing Monster Hunter. Absolutely. <laughs> and I still don't see how fucking palicos are going to be necessary to killing these monsters. You just don't want palicos in there. They have to be there. But you don't want them. That's not necessarily the case. Yeah. They ha not Knowing the franchise, they have to be there. I, I know my likes and I know what I enjoy, but what I enjoy I is they're there not as important as what needs to be there. Yes. I like that.
Um, it's gonna be in the downtown, like it, like whenever the monsters are flying around Times Square. Yeah, it's the movie posters for shit in the background, right? Yes. So remember, uh, like Will Smith and I am I am Legend, mm-hmm. and you see the Batman, Batman Superman, Superman. You need those things, the little posters, okay. Catman okay. cameos in the background. Marvel versus Capcom four. Or right in the background, or just like Snake, the Metal Gear movie because they tied in before or some yeah, okay. some dumb shit. I don't know. Um. Movies and video games will be a relationship that never stops giving. Yep. Each one. Amazing. 